Hello and welcome to my video of NX Examine in Motor Parts. My name is Richard Benwallet and I'm a Senior Application Engineer at Cyrotech. At Cyrotech, our goal is to help you get the most of your Siemens PLM software, such as NX. We share knowledge and we, are, we have a community that we have built. So please remember to like this video be part of our community by subscribing to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Today we will look at NX and how to examine an NX and edit an NX part. Have you ever received the parts or model that needed to be changed? This video will show you a process in NX for examining and editing in it and making those changes. Get into NX 1899 version, and I will open a recent file. Update the material. In this file that I've just received, I'm going to do a quick examining of the file. The first thing I would do is perhaps go to the view functions and take a quick look at wireframe and static wireframe so I could see any sharp edges, anything that stands out as abnormal. And I would um, I'm going to go back to shaded with edges and uh, take a look at the object display but of course it makes some changes to color. You can also take a look at uh, transparent. Very useful to look at the transparent to see if there's inside cavities uh, that we may have missed. We can also take a look at those cavities by doing a section. Just kind of scrolling in and out with the part. We take a look at um, the, uh, the inside of the part and maybe a better look at some of the feature, features involved. And the geometry, of course, we're good. And the cool thing. Uh, another thing that may be useful at this point is to do a deeper analysis. We can always do measurements but we will do a full geometry exam and uh, take a look at tiny misaligned objects and data structure issues. Um, that past, if I had some surfaces, we would look at self-intersection spikes. It's really just that none of those exist. So at this point, our geometry looks fairly clean. Next step would be to take a look at the part navigator. It's fairly easy to you can hover over parts uh, here. We can take a look at where they are in the tree. Uh, we can find a feature. We can also use a very nifty tool here in the edit feature replay. And I can bring it right back to the beginning. Just press play. You just sit back and take a look at how that part was created. You can pause it to any point. See the different repetitive geometry holes. And the helix over there. Draft angles, blanks. For the elaborate part, face to face tangent blends. So that's a a good way to take a look at the geometry quickly and how it was created. At this point, I will show you fairly quickly for the sake of time here, uh, the uh, some, some basic changes that could be made. Perhaps there's a sketch change um, to this hole over here. Maybe this is a little bit weak and this particular slot right here, that extrude needs to be changed. 
I would double click on that sketch, it puts me in uh, the edit mode uh, without rollback. Um, sketch task environment. And in this case, I will change that angle here to, to be more than five. Sixty degrees instead of those seventy-two degrees that it was before. You strengthen up those arms a little bit. I could also make changes to perhaps this feature here. Perhaps this here needs to be a negative value on the other side. Make sure it lines up with this pillar here. Like a hole over here. I could make changes of that nature. I could also make changes to repetitive geometry fairly quickly. Double click on that, brings me back. I can now remove or maybe this hole here and then suppress that one since it's close to that one. This hole over here. And strengthen that one. And that's a quick way of making edits. And I will show you here, perhaps I need to make an edit and change the height of this feature. If I go into that feature right there, and I want to make a change, if I want, if I need to elongate that to 71, you can see that there's an overhang that's created. And I'm, it could be corrected, but perhaps that's a lot more work than needed. So I will introduce you very quickly to a function called MMD right there called synchronous modeling. I can go into a synchronous modeling and do a move on a face and type the distance. Okay. This is a very powerful set of changes, capabilities that allows you to make changes to even non Linux geometry in the Linux environment, as well as input changes for leading and removing um, surfaces and you know, features of holes. Um, with that, uh, we can save our file and we have a completed change part smaller pockets, remove the pinhole, change the pinhole, and move the face, and examine the geometry, and we're ready to send this back to manufacturing. For more of these videos, before we get to that slide of more of these videos, just a few more notable takeaways. We saw the viewing and sectioning feature replay and examine geometry features, as well as the editing, which is editing the sketch or editing the feature and uh, synchronous modeling capabilities. Thank you again for watching NX Examine and Edit Part YouTube video. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. Also, check out our other support videos on our YouTube channel and tune in to our customer enablement series. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.